Hey everyone, Gerard here with another video on taxation. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the different types of sales for VAT purposes. Now, I would advise the same with my other videos to slow down or pause the video so that you can easily absorb the content. You can also watch my other VAT-related videos right here, and I'll also link it in the description below. So first off, who are liable to be VAT taxpayers? So those in trade or in business that sells, exchange, or barters goods or properties, and in addition to that, people selling or exchanging services shall be obligated to register as a VAT taxpayer if the gross sales or receipts for the past 12 months have exceeded 3 million pesos, or those who anticipate that gross sales or receipts will exceed 3 million for the next 12 months. For example, a taxpayer is registered under percentage tax and pays quarterly income tax using the 8% optional income tax rate. At the end of the quarter, accumulated gross sales amounted to 2.8 million. The question would be, should the taxpayer update the business registration to VAT? The taxpayer should update the business registration from percentage tax to VAT as gross sales in the third quarter is already 2.8 million. So there is a reasonable ground that by 12 months, sales would reach the VAT threshold of 3 million or more. Also take note, the taxpayer could no longer use the 8% optional income tax rate. Now for VAT purposes, there are two things that needs to be primarily be determined. The first one is output tax and the second would be the input tax. So for this video, I'll be focusing on the output tax. Conversely, you can watch my other videos related to input tax. Just make sure that you know the update on standard input tax or input VAT related to government transactions. So with a rate of 12%, output tax is the VAT due on the sales, lease, or exchange of taxable goods or properties or services by any person registered or required to register under Section 236 of the Tax Code, which is the Administrative Provision for Registration Requirements. The term sale or exchange of services means the performance of all kinds of services for a fee, remuneration, or consideration, whether in kind or in cash. For example, who among the following are considered as performing sales or exchange of services for VAT purposes? The answer would be all are considered as performing a sale or exchange of service and are subject to VAT. For a complete list of the activities classified as sale or exchange of services, you can check the website of the BIR. Now, there are two special types of sales for VAT purposes. The first one is zero-rated sales and the second would be VAT exempt. Zero-rated sales, as the term suggests, are sale, barter, or exchange of goods, properties, and or services subject to 0% VAT. It is a taxable transaction for VAT purposes but shall not result in any output tax. However, the nice thing about zero-rated sales is that the input tax related to purchases of goods, properties, or services shall be available as tax credit or refund. So for example, a VAT-registered exporter sold on account 1 million pesos worth of goods. If the sale is classified as zero-rated, how much is the output VAT? The answer would be zero. Zero-rated sales have zero output tax. Also, input tax related to cost of sales or services can be claimed. On the other hand, VAT-exempt transaction is a sale of goods, properties, or service, and the use or lease of properties which is not subject to output tax, and whereby the buyer is not allowed any tax credit or input tax related to such exempt sales, unlike zero-rated sales where there is input tax. So for example, a VAT-related drugstore sold prescription medication for diabetes to a senior citizen normally sold at 1,120 pesos. How much is the output VAT for the sale assuming the transaction is VAT inclusive? The answer would be none. VAT exempt sales do not have an output tax. Also, input tax related to cost of sales or services cannot be claimed by the buyer. Note that for VAT exempt sales being exempted, there would be no output tax, while for zero rated sales, 
because the rate is zero, there would still be output tax, but it would be zero. Also, for a complete list of VAT exempt transactions, you can also visit the website of the BIR. I will link it in the description below. And that's it. So if you have any questions related to this topic, you can post them in the comment section. And also, if you are very familiar with this topic, I'd like to also hear from you. And if you found this video very helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can learn more about your tax compliances. Lastly, you can watch my other videos related to business taxes such as VAT in the description below. So this is Gerard. I'll talk to you in the next one.